my video series full of career tips for software testers. I'll be using my career as inspiration for a lot of, a lot of these stories. And today's topic is networking is king. I wouldn't have gotten where I was today if it weren't for networking. In fact, the last time I was job hunting, I got nine job leads come from my networking efforts. I got zero job interviews applying for job ads online. My previous post was on job ads are completely broken uh, and you can watch that at your own leisure. So today we're going through networking is king. Uh, I'm just gonna switch over to, to my presentation. We're going to go through a couple of topics today. We're going to go through global online networking groups called Ministry of Testing, uh, meetups as well, and conferences, and a few other closing notes as well. Uh, I would say Ministry of Testing is the best global community for software testers there is. They have a Slack channel. You can Google Ministry of Testing Slack and you can join that. It's free to join. And they have a whole bunch of free content online uh, for learning. Uh, they host lots of meetup events. They host conferences as well. All their previous talks are available through their platform too. Um, I think they are a great online community for testers. Their big giant learning catalogue involves all of their previous talks, uh, podcasts and written articles too. So if you feel like getting up to speed while doing a bit of networking, I'd recommend Ministry of Testing. They also have a whole bunch of meetups all around the world. There's probably one closer to you. Uh, but these days, most of these meetup events are being held online too. So you just need to find one that works for your time zone. Another uh, platform you can use for, for networking is Meetup. I've been running Sydney Testers for the last four years. I didn't start it, but I did take over from someone else previously. Uh, it's a great platform for finding uh, events that you're interested in in your area. Again, um, because of the pandemic, a lot of these events are moving online these days. It's actually really hard to facilitate uh, networking with online events only, but a lot of communities are really trying. So, for example, if I search for test roles, uh, not test roles, test events uh, within my area, um, I get security talks. Um, I get Visual Basic. Oh, that looks a little old, wouldn't you say? Uh, expert Talks. I'd highly recommend checking Expert Talks. Test Engineering Alliance in Melbourne, DevOps Sydney, Design Thinking, ThoughtWorks have even got a Tech Talk series. Uh, quality Engineering, Quality Coaching with Sahar. I'd highly recommend suggesting that one. Uh, quality Engineering is actually run by Anne-Marie Chirac. Um, and I got to work for Anne-Marie Chirat uh, and uh, my second role when I moved to Sydney at Tyro. Now the funny thing is I actually met Anne-Marie a week before my interview at a Sydney testers event. So imagine being able to turn up to your interview and already being a familiar face. How's that for networking? And it was just an awesome experience to be able to put a familiar face to someone uh, in that application process. Also, in terms of other things to keep an eye on, uh, there's tons of conferences. Now, I know with the whole pandemic, uh, conferences aren't really being in, in person at the moment. A whole bunch of conferences are being cancelled, but a whole bunch are trying to move to an online platform. Now, you don't get the same experience with an online conference, but they are a great way to network and keep up to date. Uh, Speaking at conferences has given me opportunities to present around the world. Uh, I got to go to India uh, for the Selenium conference back in 2018 and I presented on uh, using robots for mobile app testing. Uh, so uh, attending and speaking at conferences has been a huge benefit to my career. Um, a few other conferences of note, Ministry of Testing have their ones coming up. Um, there's Selenium Conf India as well, which would be really interesting if it's uh, going ahead. Um, and there is another one I've been meaning to get to. I haven't been able to get to for the last couple of years. And I think it is, where is it? Uh, Agile Testing Days. Oh, I'd love to attend Agile Testing Days. It's been one on my bucket list uh, recently. And considering they're moving to an online platform uh, uh, or an online model uh, this year, I might actually get to attend. How exciting is that? Uh, also, CAST is also a really cool um, conference as well.
Now, uh, I can't go past talking about conferences without doing a sh small shout out to Yao Conference. Uh, as a developer evangelist for Yao, as one of my part-time roles, I've been able to help promote these conferences around at meetup events. But we haven't had all that many meetup events to promote our conferences at lately. Uh, so we've got Yao Lambda Jam coming up on the 22nd to 24th of July. Lambda Jam is a functional programming conference. Did you know functional programming languages are one of the most highly paid software engineering roles these days? Uh, and if you're interested in learning more, that might be interesting to check out. Uh, I attended Yale Lambda Jam last year and I thoroughly enjoyed the experience. Uh, we just recently had Yale Data, so it was data science and big data. Uh, and that was the first time we ran an online event. So hopefully you should see more Yale conferences coming up and it would be nice when we get back to having in-person events too. Uh, in terms of networking, you don't need to go to big industry events and go, hi, my name is blah, I'm here to network. Um, you don't, it doesn't have to be awkward. It doesn't have to be those big giant corporate events either. You can do things like collect a study group or uh, start a meetup group uh, or connect with other job hunters too. So for example, Vinesh here uh, down in Victoria is running his own networking group uh, trying to help migrants land their first job uh, here in Australia. So when he moved, here, he really struggled with getting his first role, uh, and I would say that here in Australia we can be a little bit racist. Now we're not going to be racist to your face, but uh, we will often use the excuse of no local experience just to reject candidates. And you can't blame the recruiters for having this mindset, it's just a little shortcut that they take to help get that list of candidates down to a good pool. And it's just one of those little shortcuts that doesn't help um, and it gets in the way. But for example, Vinesh has uh, started a new initiative uh, called Job Search Like a Boss. I think the exercise is to get a bunch of people together to keep each other accountable and treat the job hunting process like it is an actual job. So you go through your daily stand-up, go through any uh, things that are getting in your way, do you need assistance with anything? So there's nothing stopping you connecting with a bunch of other people who are in a similar situation to you and helping keep each other accountable. So for example, I've never completed an online course. It doesn't matter how many courses I buy on Udemy, I never finish them. And I think the idea of just getting a few people together would really help with accountability. This is something we were trying with Sydney Testers a year and a half ago. I'd invite a small group of people, maybe eight or ten people over to, to my actual house, uh, and we'd go through some courses online through Test Automation Unit. We'd do a study group. We'd watch some of the tutorials, uh, work through some of the exercises, and just doing it with other people really helped me uh, connect and uh, learn. Because if I wasn't doing it with other people, I would have never done it. So you can start a study group or connect with people who are in a similar situation with you. Networking doesn't have to be connecting to your boss. Uh, networking is about building long-term relationships that help provide uh, benefit to your soul in a way. Uh, it doesn't have to have a short-term game for it to be beneficial. Uh, networking is a long game and the uh, and the payoffs aren't going to be completely obvious, uh, but it's been a huge benefit to my career. So hopefully there's something in this video to help you start uh, with that networking. Thank you.